My name is Scott Carpenter. Today we're going to be talking about the bag chest spreader from Spiker. I'm going to open the box, take out the part, show you how it goes together. Uh, we're going to talk about some of the new or the features that are specific to this model, and we're going to delve into the um, dial system on this Spiker and how it's different from the other dials you may be uh, more familiar with on other Spikers. And at the end, we're talking about some of the materials uh, that this product is capable of spreading. So we'll get started. Here's the box that comes in. You have the model number uh, printed clearly on the side, along with the serial code. It does come with a hang tag, so if you're going to be displaying it on a shelf somewhere um, and you want to have some of these you know, features readily available to read, uh, there's a hang tag and a fabric tag in here that you can uh, pin this to the product with. So here is the bag spreader. So the bag is folded up when it comes out of the box, so we're going to spread that out. And inside the bag are the additional parts you'll need uh, to um, attach to the product. So we can go ahead and get everything out of here. So I'm going to set this over here. Uh, what we took out of the bag was the, um, the shield. This is what uh, kind of protects you from the fan and puts a bit of a barrier between the operator and the fan that's throwing uh, particles or seeds. The nice thing about this, this uh, shield is it does allow then the bag spreader to stand on its own very easily. In this other bag, we have the support rod. This will go inside the bag and what this does is holds the bag up so that when you go to fill it, you can um, you don't have to have a second set of hands holding the bag open for you while you fill it uh, with your bag of fertilizer or seed. And um, this makes a real big difference. So with similar products, the bags often will not stay open while you're filling it. And it requires you to have to have an additional set of hands that can be really difficult and not always something available to you. Uh, we have the crank handle in here. This is what cranks the, the fan. And there's that fabric tag I was talking about. So if you are putting this on display, take your fabric tag and your hang tag and tag it to the product. So these are the three parts that we have to assemble to the spreader. So we're gonna start with the bag support rod. This goes down inside the bag. There's a little pocket on the inside I'm gonna slide this into. And then uh, kind of the hook style end tucks into the corner of the bag. As you can see, this supports the bag and keeps it vertical. So now, whenever I need to fill it, I just open it up and pour my bag of uh, material in there. And I don't have to hold the bag up or open while I'm doing that. Okay, next we're gonna install the crank handle. This will already have one nut on it. There is a uh, threaded coupling on the side of the spreader see right here we're just gonna crank that in a clockwise direction like you're tightening a normal screw into that coupling okay. and then there's a, a nut on the handle an additional nut behind the threaded coupling I can tighten those up with some wrenches to really ensure that this doesn't spin off um, if I try to stop the fan with the handle so you can do that without having to apply any glue or anything like that. Just tightening those nuts up will really lock that handle on. Next, we're gonna install the shield I was talking about. This pops in a, some slots right here in the back. This is the side of the, uh, the spreader that's towards the, the operator. It's kind of two little ears on here. Uh, it fits into slots on the bottom of the spreader. The nice thing about this, this uh, shield is it does allow then the bag spreader to stand on its own very easily. And once it's on, it's kind of on for good. Um, it's not really something that you need to take on or off. And it does act also as somewhat of a kickstand to hold the bag spreader up. Um, last thing we're gonna do is attach the shoulder strap. Take these rubber bands off. And at the end of the strap, you'll see uh, a kind of a hook and this goes over the bag to a lug on the opposite side of the spreader. I'm going to pop 
pop this over that and pull up until you'll hear a nice little snap sound. And now that's attached. At this point in time, I would adjust the strap to uh, match my height. I basically want the shield to land around my belt line. Um, again, it's gonna be whatever the user's preference is, but that seems to work the best for most people. So there's a, a strap slide on here you can pull to adjust to match um, the whatever your height is. Okay, I put this shoulder strap on my right shoulder, the shoulder pad that is. And this is about the height I like to um, operate the spreader in. It puts that shield right around my waistline. And this also can mean, you know, this puts the crank handle where it feels really natural. There are, your right hand's gonna be turning the crank. So your left hand can either go up here and kind of stabilize the spreader using the front handle, or there are finger grips here in the back, which is kind of how I like to do it. Um, where I'm kind of using this to aim the spreader. Um, the spreader is, me is meant to go across your body, doesn't actually shoot out straight like that. And this is a far more ergonomic feel. So when you put it on your shoulder, this is gonna be kind of where you naturally wanna put it. So, I'm ready to start spreading. Feature that is unique to this product, um, and not on any other bag spreaders on the market, is this nice window. Uh, this window is intentionally put on the side of the operator when the operator is holding it. So, if I'm spreading, this is the side I can see. I can look in that window and know exactly where my material level is at and start planning for, you know, do I need to start walking back to the truck while I'm spreading or walk back to wherever my um, bag's material are. So that is, again, a unique feature to this product. All the metal parts on this are stainless steel. So every nut, screw, washer, the handle, um, the shafts, all stainless. Um, again, you won't see that on any other bag spreaders on the market. This spreader does come with a shoulder pad um, that is removable if you decide you don't want to use it. Just Velcros on and off. So again, if you're carrying 25 pounds around for um, any amount of time, you're probably going to want to have that on there just to take, distribute some of the load on your shoulder. So we're going to talk about the gate lever and dial system. Um, this is an you, you may be familiar with the spiker dial that you've seen on other spiker products. We, we still went with the dial um, kind of design, the concept, but this does function completely differently. So there are instructions for how to use this right here on the product. First step it tells us to do is pressing the knob. That's just basically resetting it back to zero. Now it says uh, turn, to the, uh, turn to the setting. Um, there are many settings printed on the other side of the bag for given materials. Uh, and there's also our online calibration calculator to help you determine what setting uh, is appropriate for what you're spreading. Let's just go with number five. So step three, pull the lever back um, until the knob pops out. Now if we're gonna listen, you can kind of hear it. And if you look closely, you'll see that this, this knob pops out and notice that my lever did not go back to the closed position. Um, Pulling this back opens the gate, the knob pops out, and acts as a stop for the lever setting the gate opening. So basically the higher the number I set it to, the wider open the gate is. So for instance, if you look where my lever is at this, um, at this position, I'm gonna turn the dial up to let's say 10, notice how the lever stayed back even further. And that is setting that gate opening. This, uh, this dial has the highest resolution of gate settings of any bag spreader on the market. Um, kind of in line with the Spiker brand, precision and accuracy is um, what we thrive on. So again, you have up to 16 different gate um, opening positions. And what I like about this is, let's say I, at the beginning of my, when I go to spread, I determine I need to set to a six. I've set it to a six. Um, I no longer have to look at what I'm doing on this side of the, the, the spreader to accurately open the gate to where I need it to go. Um, it's difficult to see across the spreader while I'm spreading. So we wanted the system to be kind of a set it and forget it. So now that I have set that to the right position, as I'm walking and spreading, 
All I have to do is pop that back while I'm spreading. And then as long as I can find that button to push, that is how I close my gate. So it's real easy to do without seeing what I'm doing. Um, you know, I don't have to pull the lever and find like a certain slot somewhere. I don't have to pull it and let's say jump over a positive stop that I push back into. I just pull it all the way back, let go, press the knob in to shut it. Um, so this does make for, again, a very reliable, accurate uh, gate opening because of all these positions, as well as just ease of use for the operator because of the things we just talked about. So the BCS 25 can spread a wide range of seeds or granules. Um, if you look on the other side of the spreader, you'll see a decal with a lot of printed um, uh, dial settings for different materials. But also what's really cool is this QR code will take you to our online calibration calculator. Um, and in this calculator, we used all the historic data we have with Spiker products to um, basically develop algorithms to calculate the gate setting for the desired application rate of a given seed or granule. So we have um, various materials that aren't printed on here. You can go to that calculator and determine what gate setting you need to be using. And if you have any additional questions, you can always call our customer service line at the number on the screen. Thanks.